So CGC just opened up their video game grading department and I'm super excited. I've been waiting a very long time for this. So today we're going to be going over all of the Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon video games that I'm going to be sending to them and just seeing how clean are my copies. Let's get into it. Alright, so to start this video, I'm just going to start by the latest and then go back to the earliest game that was ever released. Here we have the World Championship 2011. This is a Nintendo DS US version. The way that you know it's US is because there's no um, wrapper around here and also the E is different for the non-US variants. I believe this might be a Canadian version because there's some French there. I have no idea. I'm gonna send this in because I actually wanna see how they grade Nintendo DS games. You can see this one is pretty clean. There are some minor scratches on the surface, like the wrapper, but there's no rips or tears. So I'm wondering what this one will get. I assume like an A plus. If, if it's below that, I mean, I'll be very surprised and <laughs> frankly upset <laughs> yeah this one I have high hopes for like all the games that I'm sending in I have high hopes for I wouldn't be sending them if I felt like they would not be grading like high so yeah that's 2010 or 11 and then I'm actually missing 10 so we're gonna go right to uh 2009 now this wrapper is a lot sturdy like you can see this one is a lot more loose while this one is just not as flimsy but yeah this is the 2009 one they're both equally rare like it's not like one is more rare than the other one but again you can see like the games are pretty great in terms of condition like there's really not too much to pick about so I, i'm definitely hoping for high grades here what's interesting about these two is that there's actually counterfeits of them and the way that you know yours is a counterfeit or at least it's a reseal is the wrapper here you can see like when you take a look at this wrapper you see this this x collectors call this the y fold or the x fold or whatever you want to call it <laughs> this is how you know that yours is factory sealed the ones that have kind of like a cellophane heat seal that goes around the edge it are the ones that were resealed and there's actually a lot of these out there that are resealed like this and and people don't know i'm not sure why that is the reseal started surfacing around 2012 and i remember somebody like opening some up and then i found this one seller who just kept selling these resealed games and I i'm not sure why that is because the cards are still intact like even if you open a resealed one the cards are still inside what they were trying to do here <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but it is what it is. These two have reseals and the way to know is the cellophane. These ones are authentic Nintendo seal and you can tell by the X folds right here. Next up, we have the PSP games. So Tech Force 5, Tech Force 4, 2, and 1. Now these games, uh, first of all, there is a third and the third is a European exclusive. So it doesn't actually exist in North America. I believe this is a European and this is a European. I'm hoping that they actually distinguish this aspect because there is an actual big variant between these guys, uh, GX ones. They aren't really different in terms of content, but with the four and five, this one actually has ultra rare for promos because it's the North American. This one has super rares for promos because it's European. So that's a very, very unique dynamic that only exists for European and North American 5Ds games. So it also applies to these guys, actually. The European variants, they have... Um, super rares of the exact same variants on the inside while these ones have the same thing and the tag force gx are pretty much the same all around so these guys there's no difference but i still hope that they distinguish that this is a european copy i'm hoping to collect both north american and european but i'm not like too hot on these games like they're cool but i mean i'm not gonna pay too much for them so i collect them as they come if that makes sense next up is probably the most expensive games in my collection these are the dark dual stories so i did a video actually unboxing these for a mail day you can check it out right here these guys are pristine take a look at this clean the guy who got these actually pulled them right from the case and as you can see they are the first edition and again i hope that they distinguish this because i don't want the pop report to be messed up where you know this is combined with the second edition the these are first edition they have the blue eyes on the inside you can see here and yeah like these are fantastic shape i i'm <laughs> 
if these don't get like gem mints or like whatever is gem mint for CGC, I, I'll i be very, very surprised. So you can see here like flawless games. These ones are staying in the collection for a very long time. So yeah, these are <laughs> Dark Duel Stories, both first edition Blue Eyes versions. And that's the sealed stuff. Next, I'm gonna be subbing in some complete in box. Again, I wanna see how they grade. So this is crystal version. This is the second edition. I have a video coming out on how you can determine whether yours is the first edition, second or third edition. But this one is in okay condition. So you can see it has like a couple of dents here. The top part is pretty beat. Um, you can see here like there's a crease. But otherwise, it's actually not too bad. Um, it, it's fairly clean. So I'm hoping for like at least like an A minus B plus something like that. It's complete. It's never been played like all the stuff is in there. Even the cartridge is like gem mint condition like it, it's never been touched. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to get this one graded. This is arguably the rarest Pokemon game of all time and then next up i have pokemon gold and silver now these guys well the silver was actually perfect until i actually dropped something on it by accident and now there's like this crease here very unfortunate it was like perfect otherwise like there's literally nothing wrong with it like, you can just see this look at this perfect condition like literally pristine other than this yeah i dropped my tripod on it and it got dented unfortunately this one fortunately is still in immaculate shape and this one is gonna be a great addition to my graded games i'm gonna be sending all of these in the same submission or i might be actually sending in the sealed stuff in one submission the complete in box in one submission and then finally i am sending in some crossover games these are what i'm gonna be sending in it's three games the first one is arguably my favorite cover art of all time check this charizard art out like this has the ken sugimori art but the more advanced one where it's like there's not as much watercolors and i love that man like this thing is gorgeous the fire in the background this is like the perfect art in my opinion like if you really want to nail the perfect time where pokemon like had immaculate art for their pokemon i would say that this is the time where, where they did it fire red leaf green even like the stock art that you see like on the box like the polywag right there you can see here the snorlax like this is arguably the best snorlax art <laughs> even the character design like this and i would say heart gold soul silver so i'm very excited to get this one great this one is flawless it's so clean no creases nothing on this unfortunately got an 85 plus um i have another video coming out on how you can tell the different versions of this as well so stay tuned for that but with this one i'm hoping to get like an a a plus man because this thing is beautiful and then i have pokemon red and pokemon blue again i have another video on the versions of these because there's like way too many variants of this one to cover it like right now but pokemon red i pulled this out of a blister i pulled both of them out of blisters actually out of the costco blisters you know the ones that come with like the trainer guide game boy color as well as the game so both of these are actually like pristine condition i was so disappointed when these graded 85 plus i actually thought these were like 90 95 and the reason that they're in my collection still is because these were the only ones that i felt like were undergraded when i subbed in my games to vga everything else graded what i thought it should grade so i ended up selling them off with these guys they went undergraded so i just kept them and i sat them back so now i'm going to be sending them to cgc and seeing how they do these are the white ease Pidgey variants and again I'll be covering what that means in a future video again these are so clean I'm expecting like other than the crystal and the silver I'm really expecting like a pluses on everything to be honest with you because they're really really nice games and this one especially like I, I would love to own this in <laughs> a plus because this is like my second favorite game of all time so yeah that's my CGC submission let me know if you guys want to see a follow-up video for this because it's going to be massive it's probably going to be like a few months or maybe a month or two I, I have no idea honestly like <laughs> how much backlog they have but i am so excited to be subbing in with cgc because i really feel like they are the future when it comes to graded anything i really like how they run their comic books i really like how they run their cards and i think that they're going to do the same excellent job with their video games i hope they do sealed boxes next so yeah that's pretty much my cgc submission like the video if you enjoyed that comment down below what your favorite video game i'm sending in is Subscribe if you want to see the return and turn on the notification bell to see me when I go live. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.
Peace.